Hi guys, how are you? So this is Vijay Sarman here and today what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to teach you how to create a website. Now most of the people don't have a website. Uh, I, I don't know, the basic reason is the basic thought process behind this. They might be thinking that it is very difficult to do it or it involves coding. Now let me tell you something. You can create a website without even a single line of coding. Now that is what I'm going to do for you. Now why do you need this website? Because now we are in a generation uh, where we are facing the 2000 kids. Okay, I see a lot of trainers, professors, faculties and a lot of entrepreneurs even without a website. Now website is literally an address for you in this digital world and without that you will be lost in this world. Right? So and I see a lot of faculties and professors telling me that you know what? I have 20 years or 30 years of experience. Now try telling that to a kid, you know, who's a 2000 kid. Okay, the first thing, oh sir, what's your name sir? Uh, it's nothing sir, nothing is there in the uh, internet sir. Sorry sir, I can't trust you. So this is how it's, you know, uh, the world is changing. Okay, people started trusting things on internet. And the best part about having a uh, having in website is, you can show your talent, you can, you know, you can show your skill or you can share your experience to people who might be needing this in the future. Okay. It is like, you know, registering yourself in this history, right? And I'm sure that in the last, you know, your, your experience, like 20 years or 30 years, you have a lot of knowledge which has to be shared to people. And the saddest thing is these people will, not, this current generation will not know what we have done and why we are in this position right now okay so it is also a responsibility to showcase that and having a website will also make you or will also help you to generate income because uh, you know what you can update everything about your skill set and there is someone someone in this world who's actually looking for that now this is one point of source where you can you know sell anything okay uh, you know uh, it is like bringing everyone to a website for example if they want to watch a video of you you can have a youtube link there if they, have, if they want to read something about you, you have a blog there if they want to listen to a podcast you can have everything here or if you want to sell a course you can bring it in your website so for example someone is asking you some detail about you instead of telling you my name mobile number you can just give this website they'll get everything about you okay and uh, people are trusting only based on website so I'm going to teach you all about building a website today for you and it's going to be very very simple very very easy completely non-technical anybody can do it right are you ready for it all I want you to do is I want you to do it when I'm actually executing it so I want you to pause the video and then I want you to do it simultaneously okay are you ready now let's get in okay so let's create a website using wordpress so the domain or the platform which we'll be using will be wordpress wordpress is a content management system where uh, all the files and everything are stored in wordpress it's open source and it's a free and uh, it is very easy for you to use as well okay so it does majority of the work for us all you have to do is drag, just drag and drop okay so that's the reason why we use wordpress and nearly 30 to 40 percent of websites all over the world are being built using wordpress yeah it's a very powerful tool okay so let's get into it now if you look at the website okay i want you to just comment in this in the section comment sections on how much time it would have taken me to build this website okay i will reveal the answer on the fourth video okay so now this is the website and the one which you see here the website name this is called as the domain name like google.com youtube.com the name of the website is called as domain name okay for example if you want to create a website for yourself you need to come up with a name for your website so which you i'll tell you how to search for that as well and this part of the website is called as the header okay this is where the main one comes like home services so this part is called as the header okay and this one this button here any button on your website is called as an action button or just a button or click to uh, action or call to action that is you're asking them to do something with that like so whenever they click something they get get in touch with us okay that is making the people to come to your website and making them to take an action right so that is called as button or call to action and the one which you see here on the right hand side it's called as whatsapp uh, it's a whatsapp messaging tool so it's called as whatsapp chatbot 
the one you see in the bottom the whatsapp uh, you know that's the chatbot we call it as a widget because that's a whatsapp tool if someone clicks on to that what i now what happen is automatically you will get a message in your whatsapp so i'll be teaching you how to add that as well okay so let's move on to the next one so, so this is the main page so we have a domain name header uh, button call to action and then we have a chatbot widget okay and the next one and this part of the website is called as the the bottom one is called as the footer header the top one footer is the bottom one okay. so this is where you have a shortcuts of all your website so understand that this is a footer okay this section of a website is called as footer okay okay so now there are two things one is the front end the other one is the back end front end is what you see and back end is all about logics and how it works just look at this the tv okay this is the user interface you look at the design but what's the back side it has a lot of wires and you know a uh, display is all been set up right so now what we'll be doing is so the back end has to work properly for the front end to appear so understand that in a website as a front end and back end front end is what you see back end is where you actually develop or build your website okay so it's not going to be as complicated as it shows your wires stuff and people people are thinking oh my god what is the wires and a multimeter doing here so just for a reference i have shown you here so you don't need to worry about it it's going to be very 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 easy okay so understand that this is a front end and back end okay so now you need two things to build a website number one is a domain domain is the name of your website okay so it can be like google.com youtube.com so you can't use the same ones but you can use the ones which are unique which will represent you okay and the next one is the hosting now you need to understand like this now what is hosting now the website has lot of files in it right so you need a place to have everything similar to that let's say that you you want a piece of land okay so your name of your house is the domain name okay the where, the place where you build everything your house with bricks and everything right now that place is called as hosting okay simple so what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to build a house what do you need you need a land right so similarly to build your uh, website you need a place to build everything like you have the files the videos the images which you post right so Uh, similar to the space okay a lot of uh, servers or hosting is also called as servers so hosting depends upon uh, the sizes okay some hosting will give you like unlimited space 10 gb space 60 gb space uh, 25 gb space so you have to understand is similar to your land you might have a 1000 square feet 2600 square feet so whatever you can do within that 1000 square feet only you can do so similar to that hosting has spaces as well so accordingly you can you can need to have a hosting on what you require okay so this is how you understand domain is the name of your house and hosting is the place where you actually build your house okay so we you need these two things and for these two things you need to invest now when i say invest people will start thinking oh my god how much should i invest sir i like no don't need to worry okay it's going to be very very cheap hardly you will be investing like 200 rupees per month okay uh let me show you how it is okay ready now lot of people will have confusion like uh, what name should i take uh, i don't know what name should i put so i want to know whether that domain is available that name is already taken or not so what happens is uh, you can't have the same website name as the as another person for example someone youtube is there so you can't take youtube.com okay so you need to have a unique one so for that you need to find out if you've already decided with something a name then that's fine and uh, if you don't have an idea i'm going to teach you how you can actually find a name for your domain so this website is called as namecheck.com if you go to this website if you enter it you'll be able to find out whether your uh, domain is available or not and there is one more website called as called as leandomainsearch.com if you go to this website if you enter the domain name uh, it will tell you where, what is whether it is available or it also gives you the option for you to choose let me teach you how actually it works okay so now what i do let me go to lean domain 
everything searched out now. Now, here what I want you to do is I want you to just think of a name which you want your name to have. Okay. For example, um, let's say uh, cooking channel. You want to work for cooking channel. So you want uh, have the word called as cooking in it. Okay. So I click on search. Okay. Now check out this. How awesome it is. It gives you the options like what are the names you can choose. Like pin cooking, tap cooking, pixel cooking. So it just gives you the option of what you want. Okay. So similarly you can try. So let's say you want to try foodie. Free foodie, live foodie, foodie studio. So let's say foodie studio. It sounds good, right? Now just click on it. So it says domain is available. Brilliant. Right? So this name is available. But foodie studio is not available today. Someone has already taken it. Okay. So you can search like this. this tech foodie, info foodie. Let me search as Trainer, Trainer Cube, Trainer Monster, Trainer Fun, Trainer Career. So there is a lot of other stuffs. Trainer Internet. Okay, let me. This name looks good. So it is not even on Twitter. So if you if you don't care about Twitter, just ignore it and you can just buy this. Okay. Let me try professors. Nobody would want to have a name as a professor, but still, if you want to have a trademark with your name, okay, it's a professor. Professor, 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 View, Professor Up. So this gives you an idea on what to choose, how to choose. It gives you support to you. So use this method to come up with a domain name for your website. So this is how you do it. Now in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to buy a domain and how to, uh, you know, uh, buy a hosting. And once we buy that, we'll build our website. So before you do that, I want you to come up with a domain name. And I also want you to, uh, you know, be ready to purchase it so that you can get started with your journey to build a website. Great. So by end of this course, you'll be able to build a website on your own. You'll be able to add your content, link your WhatsApp to the website uh, and what else, uh, edit it and you'll need to, you can have a chat support in it, uh, put up a query form in it, everything you'll be able to do. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.